Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to SmackDown Live. We are live from Tulsa, Oklahoma, just five days away from the WWE Battleground pay-per-view, and we're kicking things off with your main man, the man called Sting. As he is going to be in action, ladies and gentlemen, to kick things off on SmackDown Live. As we're just five days away from the Battleground pay-per-view, where he'll be taking on The Undertaker for the WWE Championship. Thank you so much for joining me, ladies and gentlemen. Battleground is near the final SmackDown Live exclusive pay-per-view of WWE 2K18. Is coming your way this Sunday. And the ratings war is just getting started. The ratings are officially in for Fastlane. A lot of people watch Fastlane. But the blue brand looks to do it better this Sunday. At WWE Battleground. But tonight, Sting. He's in action against a hand-picked opponent by Triple H. Uh, apparently another free agent has been signed by SmackDown Live, and he makes his return, they say, tonight. Who is it gonna be? Oh my God! It can't be him! It is! Are you kidding me? It's... The total extremist is back in WWE for the first time since 2K15. RVD is back in universe mode. What a way to get things off. One of a kind is right. My God. He is here in Universe Mode. Welcome back, RVD, ladies and gentlemen. I don't even know I just even talk about that. The first time in, since 2K15, the RVD is back in WWE. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, to kick things off. So much to come. By Wolfen Jr. and Alistair Black signed a contract after this match for their match at WWE Battleground. Stone Cold Steve Austin takes on Chris Jericho ahead of his matchup. The tag team match that, that decides Nightwolf's fate for the WWE Championship this Sunday. Main event in the evening, Apollo Crews takes on the current Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn. And he looks to build momentum before the big match for Sami Zayn at Battleground. Triple threat for the Intercontinental Championship. All this and so much more on this edition of SmackDown Live. Oh my goodness. I believe I, I'm, I'm not mistaken. Bailey is in the arena tonight. Bailey and Sasha. Bailey's now on the main on the court tonight, but she is here tonight as well. Sasha Banks takes on the crazy Nikki Cross. God, this is a lot of action coming tonight. But RVD kicking us off, and he's taking on the Icon Sting. Big shot to the face here by Sting in Tulsa, Oklahoma. It's right now you're not expect to see RVD back well you better believe it here we go off the ropes RVD rolls over and a spin kick right to the face of Sting and could you imagine if he beats the number one contender for the WWE title that'll be amazing one and I kick out that one there by RVD this is a huge pickup by Smackdown oh elbow drop Triple H is changing the landscape. This is huge. The, the Shane McMahon never won an RVD on SmackDown, but Triple H took the initiative. And RVD is finally on the blue brand. A Sting dropping him into the turnbuckle. And Sting now. Gonna begin his own, gonna make him on his own comeback here against RVD. What a match this has been so far. Two icons going at us. So look at that, the power bomb. Oh, wait a minute. 
That's the Undertaker's music. What the? Oh my God! The Undertaker's here. The Undertaker's here. Live in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Look how RBD capitalizing on the distraction. RBD now. Rolling Thunder. And Sting could lose, but Sting gets back up to his feet. Oh my God. I never thought the Undertaker would were gonna show up tonight. That's uh, Sting trying to get back into this match here, trying to drive RBD to the corner. It's the Undertaker. This here is Sting, Sting, Sting chance by the WWE Universe. Undertaker distracting Sting. Now, oh, rock out! Beautiful move there by RBD. A cut out at one. By Sting. Oh, wait a minute. There goes Sting. And look at this driving his attention to the Undertaker. Gonna take down the dead man. And Undertaker waiting patiently. In the corner, man. Oh, look out. That, that could cost Sting here. Look at this. Oh, look at this. There's RPD. Could be thinking Upset City here. Well, wait a minute. And the Undertaker told him to finish it. RPD thought he was going to finish it. But RPD is Sting. Scorpion death drop. Cover. On RBD one and RBD at one. It's Sting. Sting, look at this. He's looking directly at the Undertaker. As the Undertaker saying some words to Sting. And oh my God. RBD bounce back up. Five star frog splash. One. Two, RBD wins his return. But you gotta give credit to the Undertaker. Undertaker with the body of the distraction. Rolling thunder. Beautiful move. Slamming down. Sting. And he almost in. Sting was just not in the right mindset for this match and you can see it here after that distraction the RVD scores the upset victory and look at this the Undertaker consulting and RVD's return look at that wow Rob is victorious tonight on Smackdown Live what a match my goodness what a match Jeez, the L's two stole the show. I never thought Undertaker would do that, but ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, it is the contract signing. Alistair Black and Knight will sign the contract for WWE Battleground. As this historic clash takes place of two gods looking to destroy each other. Nightwolf looking to make sure Alistair Black fades to black. Meanwhile, Alistair Black is trying to down the prophecy. This match is coming up next in one of the most weirdest matches I've ever seen in universe mode history. It's coming up. The contract signing next. Ladies and gentlemen, we have one of the weirdest matches in Universe Mode history. Take place in five days' time. As Black Mass takes on the Nightwolf Jr. As Black is biding his time as he will take on the winner of Sting and the Undertaker at SummerSlam. 
for the WWE Championship. And now that's the Black hopes for an Undertaker victory because that's the match he's been dreaming of. And it happens at SummerSlam if the Undertaker beats Sting, that is. But Alistair Black is ready for a fight. And he's dressed for one for this contract signing between two of the most weirdest people in universe mode history. Black has been dominant since his since he made his return, since he made his universe mode debut, he's been dominant. He's been destruction. And he finally gets what he wants. And that is the WWE Championship. And he's only a month away from having the biggest match of his career. But this could be the toughest test of his career when he takes on Nightwolf Jr. at Battleground. Black sits in the ring for his contract signing of the year. Here we go. Black awaiting the arrival of the freakish, the demonic Nightwolf Jr. as he walks away. Oh, wait a minute. Nightwolf is not walking like that anymore. Here we go, the contract signing. Officially gets underway as Nightwolf dancing in the dark. Oh my god. Oh man. Here we go. Lights come on for this contract signing. Oh my god. Alistair Black go gets the table. Oh, well, wait a minute. Alistair Black's got a chair. What? Oh, my God. Nightwolf Jr. just stares. And Nightwolf said he wants to fight. He wants to fight Alistair Black. And Alistair Black has had enough here. Here we go. And Alistair Black with a chair. And it has broken down before it could get started. Oh my god, as Alistair attacking Nightwolf and Nightwolf. Act like he's not phased with his own share shots. Oh my goodness, and Bob Black getting a taste of his own medicine. As Nightwolf Jr. makes his own statement with that brutalist little hat that he has on, and now. Nightwolf hits him when he has a carry and Nightwolf taking off his jacket and hat to reveal the, the demonic side of him. Oh my god. Now look at this. That's Nightwolf with a falcon arrow. Oh wait, wait, wait a minute. Kevin Owens! Kevin Owens! That's Kevin Owens for the Alliance! What the wall is he doing here? Oh, it's got his own Madison Fubo. Oh my god. And now Black back up to his feet. What what the wall is this? Alistair Black and Kevin Mowens whamming on Nightwolf Jr. For God's sake, God. What the what is this all about? And a Triple H has orchestrated yet another attack on the Nightwolf and his family. My God. Kevin Owens oh, are need a face from Nightwolf. This has just been a, this has been a complete ridiculousness here. We're supposed to be getting a right for contract signing and it's turning to a brawl. As now Night. Black with the stairs and it's two on one for God's sakes. And now black throw elbow drop. Black with that with the combination. Black oh Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens, this is 
This, 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 is, this is just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous here. It's not black. Sends, sends Nightwolf Jr. into the ring and Owens follows. Kevin Owens follows. Now black with the black mask for crying out loud. And now Kevin Owens as black leaves. Kevin Owens, jeez. Oh, come on. Come on now. Pump up power bomb. Owens and Black sent a statement to Nightwolf Jr. As we head towards Battleground. For God's sakes. All right, that's complete disgusting, this stage and gentlemen. But we got to move on here because coming up next, Sasha Banks takes on the crazy Nikki Cross and one-on-one -on -one action. This matchup is coming up next live on SmackDown Live. That's just ridiculous. That's a Triple H orchestrated attack on the on, on Nightwolf Jr. Come on, ridiculous. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, the Alliance are rebels of themselves, you know. Without a, without a leader to help them out, they can do whatever they want. And Kevin Owens just didn't want the Nightwolf to get the leg up on his opponent. Alistair Black, but is Alistair Black working with the Alliance? I have no idea, ladies and gentlemen, but we got to move on here as... The boss, Sasha Banks, is getting ready to make her way down to the ring here. She'll be taking on Nikki Cross. The crazy, demonic Nikki Cross. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That, that's Bailey. Bailey's here. That's, that's Peyton Royce. And Bailey making her way down to the ring. Oh, my God. That's Bailey. That's got a sledgehammer. A tacky. Sasha Banks. Oh, come on. Can we get some water around here? Attack after attack. Live tonight on SmackDown. My God. That's Bailey doing Banks to the top of the stage here. And she's whamming on Sasha. Ahead of their match. Act. Battleground, for God's sakes. We have no order around here, my God. Jeez. Smackdown Live of the Triple H has been chaotic this week. Where's the order? Oh, God. As Bailey sends a message to Sasha Banks. Ladies and gentlemen, just, just completely no order right now on SmackDown. I don't even know what, I don't even know what to, I don't even know what to say right now. It's just, just been a chaotic edition of SmackDown. Hopefully we get some order in this match, but highly unlikely as the big dog, Roman Reigns has his first singles match on SmackDown Live as the crowd might be taken out of this, out of the show because of, all the attacks and just destruction we have had so far tonight. As uh, Roman Reigns makes his SmackDown Live debut against Alexander Wolfe as he is trying to help his, I guess, friend Finn Balor out by taking out some of Sandy to make sure they're not a factor this Sunday at Battleground, especially this the, 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 the crazy deranged Alexander Wolfe and Sandy is banned from ringside for this match. Oh, the crowd might be taken out of this match here as here comes the big dog as you know, look, at that, look at that the crowd silent. They can't they, they're just stoked right now after the, the attack by Bailey. Big dog here making his way down to the ring. So good to be on SmackDown Roman told me. As he has plenty of stuff to do here on the blue brand. And he said the reason why he didn't take the Intercontinental Championship opportunity. He said he wants to 
start from scratch. That's what the big dog told me. He said he wants to start from scratch and build up his momentum on SmackDown and win every title on the blue brand before conquering it all. And uh, Roman Reigns says he's loved by Stone Cold and Triple H about his attitude, about what he brings to the table. He's a very, very good single star. If he didn't betray the shoe like he did, I, I would I, I would respect this guy, but that disgusting that betrayal over two seasons ago when he betrayed his brothers and formed this Roman Empire and took over Monday Night Raw. The Roman says he's a new man on the blue brand and he, he looked to show that in the coming weeks. I don't know about that one, ladies and gentlemen, but Roman said it, so we gotta believe him. This crowd is just completely torn right now, ladies and gentlemen. Complete silence. Here comes so oh, goodness gracious. You can say he's part of Sandy. I, don't, I have no idea right now. It's Alexander Wolf. Um, he's just all over the place right now. Oh, good God! I don't even know. He, 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 he. The Sandy is just creepy as a whole. Here's the guy that's been given Finn Balor problems over the past couple of weeks. If Roman Reigns can take him out tonight, I mean, he won't be a factor in Balor's United Kingdom Championship match against Killian Dane. As Killian Dane has the opportunity of a lifetime to destroy Finn Balor. And I hope he does. I hope, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, I hope that Finn Balor destroys him. As this group, Sandy, has been crazy. The takeover begins at WWE Battleground for Sandy. We got, we're gonna have tag team title match. Let me see him 6-1 and then, and then it's, then it's gonna be Killian Dane versus Finn Balor. That's gonna be crazy as well. And here we go, guys. As I was at a wolf slamming down uh, and Roman Reigns to cover one. The crowd has been just been taken out of it after all these attacks here. SmackDown Live, they're still stunned out there with what, 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 what Bailey did to Sasha Banks. And I, don't, I wonder why Peyton Royce was by Bailey's side. I still wonder that, ladies and gentlemen. But here we go. First, finally, we have order here. We finally have action. Oh, this uh, uh, in ring action. After, yeah, after multiple attacks, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. It's just been uh, just a just a, just crazy show here when we're. As Will went for that big boot, and power oh, gets turned around, ladies and gentlemen. As Roman Reigns turns it through. And Roman with the uppercut. And Roman taking down Alexander Wolf. Roman Reigns not making this into an attack show. Sandy is banned from ringside. Um, I mean, we did you know Stone Cold Steve Austin gave uh, Alexander Wolf cold train and night night the, the week off. Same with Team 6 1. As they get ready for their historic clash at WWE Battleground. As look at this, Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns. Oh my God! Trying to eliminate Alexander Wolf for good. Oh my God! The power bomb to the outside, and the big dog is doing a good job of it. Nine to seven by the referee. Roman Reigns wasting a little time. Look, look how impressive he's been. He's more focused here on the blue brand. Cover. One, two, three. Just like that, Roman Reigns destroys Alexander Wolf. I love the new attitude of Roman Reigns. Oh, well, wait a minute. Reigns trying to extend it. His friendship and respect. The first time I see Roman Reigns respect anybody in the ring. That's that's very interesting. Goodness. That's shocking. Well guys, you gotta move on here with the show. Uh, a little bit of a shock there. Hopefully the crowd getting involved for this one. That's gonna be Chris Jericho 
taking on Stone Cold Steve Austin. And Stone Cold looking to build momentum as we had two awards. WWE Smack Battleground pay-per-view. It's going to be a historic night, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys are in tune for it. And make sure you be there live this Sunday for WWE Battleground. The final SmackDown Live Super Review of 2K18, guys. It's going to be huge. It looks like the crowd are ready for this one. The clocker ticks down as one of the men that we believe will be representing the Alliance. Because I don't know who's going to be fighting. Oh! Chris Jericho at WWE um, Battleground looking to eliminate Nightwolf from the WWE title picture for good at WWE Battleground as Triple H said he wants to spice things up. He wants to make sure that Raw, that SmackDown wins the ratings war. That's why we're, that's why we're getting the historic match that we thought we would never see in WWE at WWE Battleground with Nightwolf and Stone Cold teaming up. But tonight, Jericho takes on the boss, Stone Cold, as he looks to build momentum. We do know Kevin Owens will be in there. We don't know if Jericho will be competing or not, but he's the only one that's available. So you would think that Chris Jericho will be in that match at Battleground. At least we, can, at least we hope. We'll find out this Sunday, though. Because Sami Zayn might pull double duty himself. You never know what Sami Zayn. But Jericho's ready to go here. Taking on the Rattlesnake from Victoria, Texas. As this crowd gets on their feet for Austin 316. I can't even hear myself think in Tulsa. Business is about to pick up and I hope Stone Cold beats the living crap out of Chris Jericho. Here we go, Stone Cold has been waiting to get his hands on Jericho and here we go. Stone Cold, Stone Cold, Stone Cold. Oh my God, it crowd. It's definitely right now. There we go. Oh my God. This has been crazy. As the Texas rattlesnake unglued. Unglued tonight. Stone Cold power drive on the outside. He's telling the referee to shut up and Jericho trying to retreat, but there's no running. There's no running, Jericho. You're getting this butt, you're a bump up. Drink it in. Yes, yeah, Stone Cold, Stone Cold. And I do not blame Stone Cold, I don't. I don't. Stop a living model in this cloud. The general manager is back and looking very, very brutal here. That is three weeks of training right there. Oh, yeah. Bang, bang, bang right in the space of Jericho. When I tell you I can't hear myself in this arena, I can't. This crowd is bussy. I can't hear myself think right now. Stone Cold from the top rope. What Jericho with the counter? Jericho. Jericho not giving up though. That's Jericho. Gets to the outside of Wigan trying to capitalize on the veteran Steve Austin. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. wait a minute. Wait a minute, Jericho. What is he taking here? Lion Tamer. One, two, Stone Cold kicks out. And Jericho. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Jericho. Boom, 
break her. As Jericho taunts to beat Stone Cold, no, no. That's what Stone Cold thinks about your code breaker. He says he was nothing. Austin Chip Connors shot to the midsection. Stunner! Stone Cold! Stone Cold! Stone Cold! Cover! Two! Three! Yeah! Glass stairs! What do you say about that? Chris Jericho! I hope that's the scene at WWE Battleground. Oh, you know the rest. Yeah, look at Jericho when he thought of Stone Cold. When Stone Cold thought of Jericho's cold breaker. He said it's an easy one, Cal. And Stone Cold picks up the victory. Oh my God! Batista! That's Batista! What the? What the hell is... What is he doing here? It's... Oh my God! Batista with the spy buster! And Batista now! Batista Bomb! What is going on? It, is he signed to... To Smackdown Live! B Batista's back! Uh, ladies and... Ladies and... Ladies and... What? What is going on? Is, is Batista signed to, to SmackDown Live? Oh my god! I see Batista bombs! Stone Cold Steve Austin of SmackDown, you imagine it? Did Triple H go behind Stone Cold Steve Austin back and, and bring back Batista? Two guys that RVD and Batista that Shane McMahon did not want on his show or now officially Smackdown Live Superstars you would think but well, ladies and gentlemen we gotta move on here as allow Mount Sami Zayn here to represent the Alliance he gets this we get our Alliance uh, our second Alliance main event as, as it is in their contract that they could main event the shows here and here comes the Intercontinental Champion. He's styling and profiling here. Down to the ring for the main event, taking on one of the number one contenders for that title that Sami Zayn has in his hand. Apollo Crews as this Sunday at Battleground is gonna be a triple threat match for the Intercontinental Championship. Sami Zayn, Apollo Crews, and Randy Orton in that triple threat match tonight. And Sami Zayn told me he's a proud Intercontinental Champion. He said he's gonna retain that title and beat Bobby Roode once again at SummerSlam in a rematch for Money in the Bank. Oh, oh, hopefully, I hope that Sami Zayn can lose that title. I'm trying to not, not to be biased here, but the way that. The, 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 the alliance is running the disgustingness that these people go through uh, it just ruins everybody else's careers and I hope Sami Zayn loses that Intercontinental Championship at SummerSlam I mean I mean, I mean that battleground and hopefully we get this man a man that works for everything and does not have to go behind business suits we get Apollo Crews as Iron Continental Champion, a man that has been 
building and waiting for this opportunity. It's in the entirety of 2K18. It gets it at Battleground. Oh, but next we got Randy Orton in there match as well. Could you imagine Randy Orton versus Bobby Roode? And what about Apollo Crews and Roode? Oh, two youngsters tearing, it, tearing each other apart at SummerSlam. That would be awesome. But Apollo Crews looking to take, take Sami Zayn down the peg and score the upset victory in my eyes. As he will beat the champion before this Sunday. I hope he can too. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. The second alliance main event of the month. As they have to have as they have to have the main event at least twice a month is in their contract obligations. And here we go. It's main event time. Sami Zayn and Apollo Crews square up here. Sami Zayn has got Apollo Crews on the ropes. And Zayn takes Kuru Crews down. Kick, kick things off in this match and the Sami Zayn beats Apollo Crews fair and square I won't have a problem with him just that the way Sami Zayn wins is and just, just, just that the, the group that he's in it just has a history of just screwing screwing people over I just can't stand it the way Sami Zayn won the Intercontinental Championship he won fair and square he beat Bobby Roode in a 20 minute classic at at uh at Money in the Bank and, and at a tremendous show he won, he won the Intercontinental title, so I, you, you can't be mad at how Sami Zayn got the job done. He, he, he did it. He did what he wanted to do. He accomplished what he wanted to accomplish, but the way he got that, the way he got there, just disgusts me that he just had to go behind Shane McMahon to get an opportunity at the Intercontinental Championship. When, you, when Apollo Crews had to scratch and claw his way to an Intercontinental Championship match, Sami Zayn was just handed it. That's the part that disgusts me about Sami Zayn right now. Sami Zayn says he's gonna have a gonna have a new look. Tommy won't be wearing that jacket anymore after this after tonight. Saying that you know, it's gonna be a new Sami Zayn at Battleground. I wonder what that's all about, ladies and gentlemen. Sami Zayn has had that jacket this entire run here in 2K18. He's been wearing that jacket. But Sami Zayn says he's gonna have a wake-up call and they're gonna have a new attire coming for WWE Battleground and Sami Zayn off the mid rolls beautiful move there I see I can't underrate the under I can, you can't I can't underrate the the talent of Sami Zayn he he is very good in that ring who's slamming Zayn down it's just been a chaotic night to say the least guys god sakes it's just Sami Zayn proving and slamming him down. Now a roll up here. Sami Zayn trying to get the victory here. Go ahead, take it down. Now, now stealing the victory. That's that's just taking advantage and of a of a lopsided opponent. I say with that kick to the face. Sami Zayn trying to prove me wrong. So he's trying to try to get a victory clean here, guys. I hope Apollo Cruz beats him up though. God said, oh. That's just me. It's just this, it's the alliance is just agitated most people on this brand, including myself. Whoa! Since backlash when we had the first session of it, then Jericho joined them, and then now we now we we have nothing about Batista now. Batista, what is he doing back? He just came back. Oh my God! In RVD, I know he's not part of the alliance. Triple H just brought him in. Oh, as Apollo Crews with the power. Oh. Kind of nine here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Got me a draw. Whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. As guys, I'm getting worried that this match got to restart. Got welcome back to SmackDown Live as both men were counted out and Triple H had to restart the match so this matchup is getting underway once again welcome back as Apollo Crews was dominating throughout the first match as they both got counted out and we and uh, Triple H restarted the match up here Apollo Crews was dominating the first match now Sami Zayn trying to get back into it it's the second go round of this match good lord as Crews 
As both men missed the crowd and Triple H said we're not having that in our main event. We restarted this match and here we go. Second go around here. Oh. And this is this faster than the faster than the first match here. As Sami Zayn trying to build momentum quickly as possible here. After this matchup being restarted. My goodness gracious guys. This is just been a crazy night. I guess we have time for a restart nation. Maybe we might have extended time. I don't know. Oh, it's a Gary there. I, I don't even know if we have time for this, guys. But Triple H says we got. Apparently, we do. And we're going to get it, guys. Coming up. Here we go. Sane and Cruz. And Sammy Sane from the mid ropes. Oh, 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 and now Cruz, 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 trying to fight back here. Apollo Cruz is getting manhandled here by Sami Zayn. And Zayn now, Blue Thunderbomb. Blue Thunderbomb. Now a cover on the Cruz. One. Cruz could be done for it. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Zayn said, you sit down. Train trash talking. I hope that float over there by Zayn. I hope that comes to bite him. And I look at that, look at that. Yeah. Get him, Apollo. Get him. Hope it comes to bite him in the face. Now look at this. Here goes Cruz. Takes him down. Kick up. Now Apollo Cruz with lifting up. Sami Zayn is a Gary. Now Sami Zayn. Is in trouble, Cruz trying to give him a preview of this Sunday, but Zane able to counter. And now Zane, and that's swift motion. Oh, wait a minute. Zane pointing at Cruz, and that's swift motion. Hello, back kick. Good night. Now, arm drag there by Zane, who's, who is not finished. Not done by a long shot. Oh. Goodness, here's the fatigue by Sami Zayn now. Now Sami Zayn yet again. Oh, no. What, what, what is he thinking here now? Oh, come on now. It's just bragging. As Cruz is in the corner here. Sami Zayn. A second all over kick. My God, kicked his head off. And Apollo Cruz is daydreaming right now. Cover. One, two, three. Dang it. It's the second match. It's a victory for Sami Zayn here. What a match. As a Cruz with the toy. Oh, come on. Come on. Sami Zayn attacking Apollo Cruz from behind. Whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. Sami. Sami Zayn got a table. Tell the referee to back off here. Oh, my God. That's Sami Zayn trying to send one last message. To Apollo Cruz and Randy Orton saying, oh, "Keep in mind, it's no disqualification. Extreme rules." Zayn choke slam through the table. Message sent for Sunday. My God.